Okay, have you ever worked with a two monitor setup and when you switched a window image between the monitors and the colors were just totally different? Or when you're all done with color grading, when you're uploading your content to uh, the phone and TV and it's completely different what you actually created? Uh, I think it's time to calibrate your monitors. Welcome my YouTube comrades, Oleg here, and today we're gonna to be talking about color correcting your monitor or calibrating your monitor to make sure the colors are all accurate and your final result is not that off from what you are planning to create. So first let's talk about why do you need to calibrate your monitor? Print color accuracy. It's mainly touched upon the photographers of the game and when they do all the color correcting, color grading, all the LUTs and all that stuff, that juicy picture at the end, when you print it out, it might be looking completely offset. Colors might be different, the blacks might be different. So you definitely want to make sure the prints are accurate, color accurate when you actually spend some money on printing them out. So the second one is the dual monitor setup. So if you do have dual monitor, three monitors, or maybe you pass along the information for the continue of the edit to somebody else in a different room or so, maybe you have different offices, you want to calibrate all those monitors so they look the same and the end result is gonna be the same. So the last one is just a redundancy to make sure that you are creating what you are intended to create. Okay, so in this video, we will break down how to color correct your monitors and how to color match them. And we're gonna be utilizing this device right here. It is a Spider X Elite from Data Color. They are not sponsoring. I bought this myself because I am tired of dealing with this two monitor setup that pictures are not looking the same whatsoever. Okay, for the next part of this video, we're gonna unbox this little fella. I'm gonna teach you how to calibrate your monitors, two of them, step by step, uh, and uh, be ready for your next edit without any kind of issues. So let's dive in. Okay, so in the box, when we're gonna open this up, you have to make sure to not throw away a lot of stuff because in this box, there is a serial number. So this is what it looks like. A USB. I, I really wish that they would do the Thunderbolt 3, but uh, yeah, it's that old school USB. And here it is. Setup is really simple, nothing too crazy. You just unplug it. There's like this actual uh, device that you can uh, do projectors as well, which is amazing. And this actually, what's really cool about this one, this is actually the detection of the ambient light. Here's a really neat feature. You can screw up on the, like a, a quarter inch uh, tripod setup and uh, every single time when it's plugged in, if your light setting is gonna change, it will detect and it will change your monitor uh, based upon what the ambient light shows. If you just simply pull if uh, you want to set it up, go over the actual monitor. This works as a counterweight. And the serial number is gonna be here. So what we'll do is just go ahead and plug this in to the USB. It's very simple to set up. All you do is just simply install the actual uh, software from their website. And I have it already installed in my computer, as you can tell and I'll go ahead and launch that. It says, welcome to Spider Elite Software. Everything is good. Okay, now you're uh, faced with this kind of window and we're gonna go ahead and calibrate my display. Click next. And uh, here you can actually see that the wizard will guide you through the calibration process. And there's a couple of uh, tips to uh, go ahead and just warm up your display. Uh, lighting conditions, it tells you like, have you checked that intense light is not falling directly on the display screen. In my case, I have a big soft box just blasting over here. So, and then uh, it shows the display controls, reset your monitors to settings, reset controls default to default settings, uh, set the color temperature to 65 Kelvin. That's what usually is set up for a lot of 
uh, monitors, which is the 65 Kelvin. And uh, adjust the brightness to level which you're comfortable with. Spider connection, plug in the spider into the computer USB port, uh, not into a hub or keyboard. Unfortunately, I don't have a converter for this show. What I will do is I'm gonna go ahead and plug it into my hub. Click next. Identify technology used in this display. And you can see over here, you can uh, choose the backlight, which is a wide LED, which majority of monitors and uh, laptops are used. Standard LED, uh, general, we're gonna go with wide. And you can literally look it up, what your monitor or display is on. Is it standard LED or what's the backlit of it? I'm gonna go next. So with this one right here, you can do the step-by-step -step assistant will pretty much easy setup for your calibration monitor of one monitor only. But in this case scenario, we have a studio match. So we're gonna choose studio match because I want to make sure that all the monitors are synced in together. Now with this one right here, we have also a, an expert console, which I am not an expert, sorry guys, but we're gonna go ahead and choose the studio match. Match display is attached to just this computer. Match display is attached to this computer and other computers. Right here we have a uh, my Apple MacBook Pro 15 inch 2017. And then uh, my monitor, external monitor is gonna be Samsung. Uh, match display is attached to this computer. Let's do that. Next. First we will measure the maximum brightness that each monitor is capable of producing. Uh, you can click don't show it again, but that's good to know. Place this positive check and display as shown. We're gonna go ahead, detach this, and what's great about this one, uh, you can just simply go behind this monitor, place it like so. I always suggest to just tilt the screen, tilt the screen just a little bit that direction, the further direction, just so it will lay flat on the selected space over here. Okay, okay, and then we're gonna click measure. Now it starts measuring the colors, the brightness. Refining white point, measure complete, done. So now it's asking me to go ahead to the second display right here, which I'll go ahead and just transfer that to this, this monitor and flatten it out. Okay, now measure. Finished, okay. So now place your spider on the deck as shown below. Close this guy down. But like so, next. Okay, so over here, choose your setting to match different display as uh, closely as possible. Now we have right here the Apple, the Samsung, the suggested target brightness. I would go with 120 without the decibel. Uh, recommend gamma, everything's good. Set up, next. Studio match target. Let's do three match target 1.1. Save. Congratulations, it's target been saved and Macintosh and HD. And it tells you actually the destination of the preset. Let's go next. Please stay at your computer after you click the next button on this screen. The application will take a few measurements and then uh, wait for your adjustment brightness. Of so you just have to adjust the brightness manually. So let's go next. Yes, let's put this spider check over here, over the screen. Like that. Let's click next. Fantastic. Let's go ahead and display update and tell you where it's supposed to be it's right here let's dim it down a little bit just a little bit more update good it's within what we want now click continue 
So it's doing all its thing again. So it tells you here a one month calibration reminder, but I usually put on two months and save. Now let's do the same thing on the other one. Okay, now this one is finished too. Two months save. Yes, thank you. Next. Now we are faced with two images of yellow. We simply have to adjust everything. And now we see what's before and after. And before and after. And we're done. Well, I hope that was helpful and uh, I hope your monitors stay healthy and calibrated all throughout the years. And like it or hate it, subscribe it or not, but always, always remember to stay awesome and I will see you in the next video. See ya.